Okay, so we are recording. Today is October 17th, 2017. We are very fortunate today to be able to hear from awesome coach from Savannah, Georgia, Jamie O'Rear, who later this afternoon is flying to the United Kingdom. So good luck to you there, Jamie. But we are excited to hear um, what you have to share with us today. And we're excited to drill you with questions when you're done. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're excited to hear from you. So I'm just going to turn the time right over to you. Let's get started. All right. Well, if I do go fast, I just have to, like looking at the clock, I have to walk out of here at 11.50. Um, so I was really excited to show you guys what I have today because total honesty, you know, I didn't come on the calls, like I guess, you know, for about the solid six months there. Um, I was teaching. I took on too much. This last year, I really suffered, and I felt like I didn't have anything to give you guys, and I felt like I was that girl who was always taking and not giving because I had nothing to give, and I'm like, nothing's working. What would I share with these rock stars? Like, nothing's working. My coaches aren't succeeding. The new training program that I thought was great isn't succeeding. Like, my coaches aren't hitting success club, and I was so frustrated, and um, we went to Summit, you know, and I spent a lot of time with our leaders and our diamond coaches. And what I kept hearing was we have to revamp this training system. We have to revamp it. It's not dynamic. We're not preparing people. We're just putting them through our seven-day self-paced training and throwing them into the world. And I think because I got so frustrated with hand-holding last year, I just went, I'm not holding your hand. If you want to figure this business out, figure it out. Well, you know, many people, um, most people that I signed didn't want to figure it out, and they quit. So when we were talking with the leaders, then the next day was that leader's call with Barbie Kalev, or the, the talk she did. And she said something that just really hit home. And she said, I copied Lindsay Matway's training, and it didn't work because it was Lindsay's voice. It wasn't her voice. You know, and I went, oh, my God. I keep thinking I have to control the situation and have, like, all these resources for my coaches to take the burden off of them. But they need to be making their own seven-day quick start. You know, they need to have their own coach basics, whether like for me, it's like a seven day, they can go through it in one day, seven days, whatever. It's just seven lessons. And I said, they need to take mine and each of them has to put it into their own words for their own coaches to relate to them because they sign with them, not me. So that was the first thing. So we started doing leaders calls every Wednesday and those who came on there, we just really hashed it out. So we said, okay, first and foremost, you all start go working, you know, on your own. So like my, my business partner, the, the girl I founded our team with, she likes videos. So she recorded her seven day quick start training is all videos that they can listen to while they're driving. You know, I like written stuff more. Everyone put it into their own flair. So that was step one. And now, you know, we still have the big wildfire, you know, self paced coach training group open for, you know, little, uh, younger coaches, newer coaches but they also have their own separate umbrella teams seven day. So then we said, okay, when they come out of this seven day and Jamie saw lesson one in her team call I did for them, we said they need to go into a one month implementation group. So there's just gonna be four lessons every Wednesday night, they have a lesson and then they have a week to implement because they don't need to sit there in more trainings. They need to be in a full on, this is the life of a coach in one month. This is exactly how you start your free group. Okay, this lesson we're talking about inviting, teaching you how to set up your funnel. You're creating your Instagram account. Now you're inviting 30 people to the free meal group. The next, you know, Monday, two leaders teach them and run them through a one-week meal group, meal prep group. You know, then the following, you know, lesson. And I'm going to show you guys all this. But what I realized, and I said this on Jamie's call too, is like as we've gotten into it and done this a couple months in a row, at first we were so strict, like, okay, new coaches only. This is just for new coaches. The first 30 days of your business, you know, it's to get them through that seven day quick start and get them into this one month group that starts the first Monday. What we realized is that so many veterans who've lost their footing, they needed to be in this group too. So it's really provided us this great resource to get people back on track with clear examples. I mean, they have to lesson one, map out their schedule for the month. Exactly when their coach, you know, I have the schedule right here, you know, that I use, this is the one I show them. You know, I show them how I plan out my free group, which leads into clean week, which two weeks later is the challenge group, which three days later is the coach up. 
So they see, and I walk them through my mindset and we really show them because the questions I was getting all the time was, I don't know what to post today. Uh, I don't know. Should I start a challenge group? No one signed up for the last one. And I'm like, the coaches I have to do the best run their businesses like clockwork. There's the same, you know, they announce their 30 day challenge about the same time every month. They do everything like clockwork and people start to expect it. So they are going, oh, well, Brooke didn't, I don't, I'm not quite ready for this challenge, but I know she'll have another one next month. I'll hop into that one. You know what I mean? So, you know, I wanted to run this for a couple months before I really came to you and said, this is working. But what it's done and what my goal was for it is not to give more work to the leaders that they're all having to participate in this group every month and do all these calls, but it was more to take work off of them while giving them a leadership role and everybody takes a piece of the puzzle. So we all really hashed out and thought about what is the most important implementation things. We're not doing social media one-on-one. -on -one. We're not going in the back office. What is the nitty gritty of organization, your power hour, having a funnel, um, talking about pain points, whether it's the pain point of leading into that free meal prep group, what the week before were your pain points with that thing? Next, pain points leading into your challenge group. Who were you before Beachbody? What were the pain points of not being able to get to the gym? You know, next week you're leading into the coach up. What are the pain points that it just really broke it down for them and compartmentalized it. And I feel like we just have had so many aha moments. Coaches, I mean, I was getting. 10 messages a day from some of these needy new coaches I was signing. And now that they're in this group, it became like the most interactive group I've ever had. You know, every time before they post a picture, they post it and we say yay or nay. And we're harsh on them. We're like, no, that looks awful. Like go back to Canva. This is what it should look like. And it's been a great sounding board for them to get to know all the leaders who are really participating in this. You know, I wouldn't say every one of our leaders has, has gotten into it. Yet, but the ones who have, like, I just feel so much more cohesive with our entire team doing this together, you know, and they each just take one Wednesday and then, you know, one runs the, the coach expo and next month, if they can't do their Wednesday, they already have their slides done because we did it the first month. So we all have our PowerPoints. They just hand it off to another coach, you know, another leader, maybe who can step in for them. All right. So I will share my screen. And let me find the outline and I can send any of this to you because it's all in Google Doc. All right, so here is the basic layout. And I put a little bit more info just for you guys on the implementation side. So, you know, what they have to do, you know, Wednesday calls, there is a spreadsheet they have to check off, you know, once they've listened to the call and once they've done the implementation because we want to see that they're doing it. And I mean, like, I'm not as hardcore, but I know some of my leaders, like if they see their people, after week two, not do it. They're taking them out. So um, I'm just more soft. I'm like, I'll oh, stay in, you know. Okay. So lesson one was how to invite on a schedule. So not how to invite. That was very basic. Like I went through maybe like a couple examples, but I will not give them scripts and how to set up their funnel system leading into their free group. So then their implementation for week one was create their Instagram account, map out their first month monthly schedule with me, you know, we do that together, um, create their funnel and screenshot it. So they have to post it in the group after they've done it, like a funnel that makes sense to their mind, because I can't tell them to make it like mine, you know, cause we all see things differently. Um, oh, they have to post their picture ideas. So I'll give them, I'll go through the slides real quick, but I give them a couple examples of meal prep pictures, what works the best, what looks the cleanest. And then, like I said, they have to post in the group before they start posting on their social media. Um, identify their pain points to talk about each week long. So they're starting to write down their pain points and, and just really dig into their own stuff, just writing that down. All right, so second week, the free group starts. That's the meal prep group. You can see Brooke and Michaela, they're awesome at that stuff, so they do that. And we tell them whether you want to be in the meal prep group or just steal that stuff and go and start your own. You know, I teach them, this is gonna be your, on, your private ongoing group as the months go. So whether you wanna run the first one with us or immediately go to your own free group, you know, that's the one you're just gonna keep putting people into the same one. You're gonna have your three groups, your challenge group, your free group, you know, and your team page. So um, lesson two, so we just switched this, the first time we did it different, but um, Christy is amazing at 
organization and scheduling. So she walks them through power hour. She has them create their own personalized power hours. They have to do a screenshot of, they have to schedule their business hours, show when they're going to figure out when they're going to work their business, post that in the group and really start doing it and then come back to us with issues. Like if they're having issues, like, okay, this isn't working. I thought this would be a good time. And then in her lesson, we take a step farther. Now they have to have a screenshot of a full three month schedule. So now leaving this group, they know for three solid months, like what they're doing, when their coach expo is, when they're going to announce their challenge group, you know, all that stuff. Um, lesson three is, and I'm excited to show you guys these slides because Brooke did such a great job, but she did almost just all IG storyline, creating an IG storyline, inviting on the IG storyline, leading up to it, um, telling your story, things like that. And then Emily does this great exercise with them on storytelling. Um, she's Emily founded the team with me and she is known <laughs> like if anybody follows her, like for her storytelling and what she's done is she mapped out 52 weeks of the year and every week if you look at her post there's a theme one week might be grandparents one week might be parents one week she's got the craziest themes but she all ties it together into stories and talks to people about her life and it sometimes it relates to beach bodies most of the time it doesn't but she really digs in with them and teaches them to be a storyteller has them do an exercise on a sheet of paper and write down from like five years old, you know, all the way up to where they are now. And every year on that line, they have to write something impactful that happened to them. And they really have to dig in and go, oh my gosh, yes, that's when I moved from here to there. Oh, that's how this relates now. It's just a really good exercise that I love that she does with them. Um, so their implementation that week is three to five IG stories a day. They have to invite 20 people to the challenge group write down their themes for each week, start practicing that and practice their storytelling. And we really, really break it down. Like this is like, if you want to see the science of a one month beach body coaches schedule, Brooke even shows them in this and I'll show you guys, but two and a half weeks before the challenge group, she's posting Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, she's plugging the challenge group. She shows them when to start, when to post, when, I mean, it's literally like if they don't get it after this on how to run, actually run their business, um, then they weren't paying attention, but okay. So lesson four. So now we've had them invite that week to their challenge group. So now lesson four is all about expanding their network. Um, Jess talks a lot about live streams, why they're important, you know, getting out of your comfort zone to attract more people to you, you know, creating a following, um, understanding Emerald. And she really digs into inviting to the coach opportunity. And that's when we have a coach opportunity event for them the following week for them to invite to. So it's like every lesson leads into something that they start. So it's all, I didn't want them sitting here having 20 lessons that like, okay, you learn the basics, let's go do it, you know? So let me see if I can pull up my slides and I'll run through these real quick because I don't want to bore you guys with this, but I can send you any of these um, Google Docs. So this is uh, month one just inviting their funnel, their free group, how to invite, no scripts, just little things like this we all know. Um, the four, I call them the four styles of inviting is, you know, one, just introducing yourself, starting conversation, the free group invite, which I think is crucial in this because they get a big surge of confidence because they get a ton of yeses to that first free group. Instead of throwing them out there to invite to their first paying group where they're going to get a lot of no's, you know, so it, it gives them that boost of confidence for that free group invite. Um, you know, and then the final, you know, the coaching invite. So we go through that. I give them a couple examples. This is my personal funnel. That's just how my brain likes to see it. This is my up here. I think that's like an IG stories when I decided to try in the beginning, it became too tough to track my UK one on the bottom, you know, just little steps, you know, little things just to tell them that, you know, we've learned along the way, but just from day one, like pay attention to who's liking your post. Thank you. As if they're liking them, thank them and add them to tier one of their funnel. Next step, invite them to the free group from there, invite them to Shakeology sampler, you know, basically teaching them the funnel and the wheel, which I will show you. So I stress a lot this wheel with them because if they drop one piece of it, their business starts to go clunk, 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 like it's not moving. And I really, even coming up with this training, 
it was so impactful for me because I went, oh shit, I've gotten really cocky and I stopped doing free groups the past three months over the summer because I just, I just wanted to be with my kids, you know, and uh, you don't want to do the hard stuff. So I, I know when my business is starting to suffer now by looking at this, like, am I going on my schedule? Am I, is my wheel turning? All right. So we showed them pictures, um, tell them how to find these images, Google images, you know, give them, you know, word swag, Canva, whatever, teach them a quick basic on that. And then, you know, there's our implementation. Um, all right. So I'll go to Brooks because I don't have slides from Christy. She's lesson two because she would just like pull up, um, stuff. Okay. So this is Brooke. So this is lesson three, um, challenge group posting tips. Um, you know, first money of the month, the same thing, you know, we said in the last one. All right. So this is where she started to really dig in with them on the science and how she does it. And she doesn't post the same picture Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, you know, she starts like clockwork two and a half weeks out from the start of every pain challenge group. She'll post a different picture, you know, she'll post, um, you know, she always finds fun ideas every month so that she gets her ongoing group to join in as well. Um, let me see if she posted the second one. Yeah. So then like she said, Saturday, the, like the last call, you know, she posts a list, you know, like we've seen on IG stories, but she's done that for a while, you know, on Facebook. Um, you know, she, she literally detailed schedule, first post, second post, Saturday morning, third post with an update, how many spots, fourth post, sweaty selfie with a call to action, you know, and she, she just broke it down so easily for them to understand that I feel like so many of them went, oh, okay, okay, so this is, this is what I'll follow, you know, line by line, boom. Um, then she went to IG stories. She showed ideas, you know, we talked about tagging locations, um, you know, just giving them tips, but also leading them to her blog, you know, trying to get people to where she wants them to be. You know, she showed this, how to create this step-by-step, -step, sweaty selfies, you know, basically ideas, podcasts to listen to, um, you know, just to also go and take it a step further. Um, so yeah, so she, you know, she showed them in Canva how to switch the image to that size to make it real easy for them. And then, you know, she, I mean, basic stuff, but still she, you know, this is the questions we get. How do I, well, where, you know, how do you swipe up? How do you see the names? You know, so she showed them how to swipe up, add them to their funnel. You know, if these are people who are watching every single story, recurring names, how easy it is to invite off of this just by clicking on their name, invite them to the meal prep group. If they viewed your meal prep story, she showed him her own funnel. And what is this last one? Oh, so, you know, that's exactly what I was saying. She just shows them how to switch it, resize it, so they're not doing a lot of extra work. And I think, I know I went through that so quick. I was just trying to get it all in. Sorry, guys. But, um, but yeah, so that's the, basically what we're doing. And I'm excited because veteran coaches who've been out of the business a while, they come back and they're like, I want to revamp my business. And I say, then you need to do the 30 day success launch. And then we will talk because if that doesn't get your business going again and on track and running smoothly the way it should, then I don't even know what I could do for you. Basically. Mm -hmm. True. Dude, Jamie, I love that because you, you, systemized it and again it's like like a lot of times when i talk to you know leader coaches i'm, I'm like look you can't do the business you know for people you can't you know force feed it but you can like bake the cake and mm -hmm. you have baked you know the cake is baked <laughs> essentially you've given it to them like okay here here here's what it looks like you know we know this is proven to work we'll be here to support you we'll give you the feedback we'll train you we'll give you you know but, but here's what you, here's what you take. And if you implement it, then you know, you can be successful. So I really like that, that again, like people come in and they can see that, you know, Hey, here's, here's what there is to, you know, to do now it's up to you to execute on this. How, how do you put that up to them though? Do you give them access to that, to that Google doc or the, 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 the present? We, you know, to the coaches? Well, yeah, I post the slides. I posted the slides every time after so they can re-go re through the slides. They, you know, I post like a screenshot of the implementation, the last slide. We put the recordings in. Um, yeah, but 
what I had something I was going to say now. Oh yeah, I know what it was. But that's the two things that were lacking in my last training was the one-on-one personal contact and they weren't getting to know the team dynamic and the other team leaders and like the, the culture of the team by going through that seven paced, seven day, you know, self-paced training. While I think that's still imperative and I make them still go through that. It's like, that's the, the thing to get to the end goal, which is a 30 day success launch, you know? So now I have coaches like, Oh my God, I have to sign up today. The next, you said the next one starts in four days. I've got to get through your seven day quick start because I want to be in that 30 day success launch. And, um, And I feel like it's brought our leaders back together and we're working so well together. And as we see things, little things aren't working, they are working. Um, This past month, we also tried out a 30 day pick a day challenge in there. So every day I would post a picture of something that I wanted them to talk about on their wall, like something weird, like your workout space, talk about how big your workout space is, you know, like every day was a completely different thing. And I think it gave them a lot of ideas and stuff to talk about when, you know, you're first becoming a coach, you don't know what to talk about. Like, you know, so I would just challenge them that today. You're going to talk about your shoes. Talk about if you don't wear shoes to do our workouts, talk about what kind of shoes you like, talk about, you know, ask people for their suggestions of shoes, just today's shoes. <laughs> so, um, we started that this past month and that really was great too, because they were even tagging me and getting excited about it and, you know, taking it outside the group. Oh, and the last thing I was going to ask you guys, so I had this idea because after I listened to Jamie Shepard's um, national wake up call a couple weeks ago, I was like, that's the perfect final piece of the puzzle because I think it's such a great like explanation to them on how to talk about coaching, you know? So I'm like, okay, you know, the last Saturday I'll be like, this is your final call. Listen to this call. But I thought it would be really neat if you guys like this idea because there's so many forms of coach sneak peeks. They just see the one one day event that we do. But I know in the past I've done five day events. I know there's, I mean, there's so many different ways to do coach sneak peeks. I thought it'd be neat if we all like collaboratively put a video together with our coaches and each show a different way to do it to kind of get their brains moving you know, to think outside the box, like, Oh, Jamie does it. Like Jamie Shepard does it like this. And Oh, Kristen does this. I had never thought about that. You know, I don't want them to think there's one size fits all. Yeah. I love that. We, I mean, I, we could definitely, I could help facilitate that as well. I, I love that idea. The important thing is to have like something to invite to, which is what I love, like you mm-hmm. said about what kind of puts, these people and gets them through it, whether it's self-paced or not, they know they have to get done by a certain date. And, and that's why I always encourage you to have like set sneak peeks because it gives your coaches something to invite to. And I think mm-hmm. looking at different ways to do it, to keep it fresh. Cause that's, you know, everyone runs down when it's, you know, the same thing over and over, but I like, I, I, I do think it would be fun to, to look at different ways to do it and keep it fresh and, and different. It might resonate with a different type of coach or someone else on the team. So, yeah, when you get back, let's let's look back at at collaborating on that. Hey, any yeah. any other uh, quick questions for Jamie? She has to run, and I and I have to run to a, a meeting as well. Yeah, I see Kristen raised her hand, yeah. like literally raised her hand. How polite of you, <laughs> Sorry. Kristen. I used to be a teacher. Um, real quick, you said I, I missed kind of the beginning. Um, you split this up each week. A different leader on your team is leading a webinar. Is that mm-hmm. right? Yep. Okay. So we discussed, we came together as leaders first and like hashed out exactly what should be talked about. I mean, it took us a while. You just love strong personalities, but you know, some people go, that's too basic. This got to be you know, bigger, you know? So once we got that together, then we said, okay, who feels like they're really strong in this area? Who's strongest in this, you know? And we paired people with their strengths. And then that first, you know, I guess the first time it was more work because that, you know, myself broke and then I don't have Jess's slides yet, but we had to put together the PowerPoint. Then I'm like, then it's done, you know, you know, it's yeah. done. Do different people do it each month or? Right now we've had the same okay. because I think, I hate to say this, the four strongest leaders on our team right now are the ones who stepped up for each, well, actually there's five because two girls share one week, but it's the five strongest leaders. And when somebody else says, hey, I want to take that, you know, I'll gladly say, you know, take Aaron's or take Jess's spot or take this, you know, but it was very also indicative to 
which leaders didn't step up to, to do anything, which is fine. But, you know, it's, it showed me who's in it and who's got that team culture and who's going to keep our team culture going. And, uh, but yeah, so no one has to be on all four, which is the great thing that I feel like it's taken so much work off of the leaders and off of individual coaches because where before I was getting 10 messages a day from this one coach. Now she's in this great environment where she has lots of leaders to ask and, you know, someone else will answer before I even get to it. And, you know, they just really feel that team bond more than I think even just being in a team page is to have like, we call it their pledge class that they go through with. I, I have love two it. nuts and bolts questions real quick. So one, um, I forgot one of them, but the second one was, um, are you using, or, or are you planning on using like the same Facebook group each time? No, it's completely separate. Okay, so we like a new each pledge class. <laughs> I was never in a sporty, so but that sounds fun. Um, it has its own Facebook group that'll always kind of be theirs. How many yep. people, do you have a limit on size? I don't because you know what's interesting is I think we're in our, I think third now, third time doing it. It seems like most of the people want to go through it twice. So no, I'm like, hey, they're like, oh, I went through the first time, but I really want to do it again to even dig more into it because I loved it. It kept me on pace. So the, that first pledge class, so many of them did it again. And now so many in this one, they're, or the second one, they're like, okay, I want to go through it one more time in case there's anything I missed, you know, and do it live. So I'm like, whatever. I think both, I think all three groups have been about 40 to 50. Okay, and I didn't remember my other question. So what is, um, about how much time, like, each week is it in, are you finding, is it in, like, the actual listening, reading, absorbing of information versus the, I mean, the implement, implementation of it probably varies from coach to coach, but how much is the training time of those? Topics? One hour a week. That's one it, hour. just one hour. Just Wednesday nights, that's it. And then, it, because I'm like, I don't want them to sit there on trainings. You learn by doing you know, and they're practicing their photos and, you know, they're, they're out there inviting and, and going for it. Are they posting anything else during the week? I know you mentioned you're doing like the daily post ideas, which I love, but um, like as far as engagement during the week in the group, are they doing anything in there or just asking questions? You, you mean in the group or like on their pages or what? In the group. Yeah. Like Cause the pick a day. Oops, sorry, the pick a day is on their own walls. That's where the spot, like public post. Right. But within there, it's just, it's just been a lot of, um, hey, this is an invite I was thinking of sending. What do you think about this? It's very interactive, just okay. like feedback, which is good. I think because these questions, sometimes they think, oh, I don't want to bug my coach. She's so busy, but I don't know if this sounds right, you know, and I don't know if I like this picture and um, that kind of stuff is, is going on a lot in there. Or we ask them some days, like, I want to hear a win, you know, because we tell them the goal of this group is to be profitable, to turn a profit. You know, like, we're not here. This is a business. So by the end of the month, we want you to have turned a profit. So we do kind of say, like, okay, who's, you know, on Thursdays, like, you know, say some kind of win for the week with, you know, a income or you sold a challenge pack or, you know, something like that. Love it. Well, Jamie, um, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Yeah, it'd be interesting to dive into your to your docs a little bit more if, if ever that were possible. But thank you so much. We know that you're now one minute late to run and go get your, your daughter. So we'll let you go. And uh, best of luck to you in the UK as well. Keep in touch. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, thanks, bye. you guys. Bye.